So guys, for this recipe, I'm going to do a quick and easy miniature strawberry cheesecake. And for this, I am going to be using the no bake jello strawberry cheesecake mix. You're going to need four tablespoons of butter. You're gonna need two tablespoons of sugar and you're gonna need one and a half cup of milk. And I have my measuring utensils here as well as the one bowl for the crust and I have another bowl for the topping and I'm going to be placing my miniature cheesecake in these cute little silicone teacup cupcake holders. Now I've made these before for a uh, ladies brunch that I did. I made the miniature cherry cheesecakes and I put them in these cups and they were just a hit. I love this little silicone teacup. You can get these off of um, Amazon and you can also I believe get them at Michael's. So that's what I'm going to be placing my no bake miniature cheese cups. So I'm going to start out by placing the graham cracker crumbs in a bowl, which is for the crust. And you're gonna need four tablespoons of butter and I have a knife here and I'm just going to measure that out and my butter is already softened which makes preparing it a lot easier so I'm just going to add that into the graham cracker crumbs going to stir that up until it's mixed together real good to form like a nice crust to put into the little miniature teacups there. And actually, I just noticed on the package it says melted, but I already prepared it this way and just going to have to pray for the best. So after I realized I didn't melt the butter, I decided to just heat a little bit more margarine and just add that in and it actually helped. It is uh, making the graham cracker crust crumbs stick together. Now, I don't know how I make that mistake because I always know that you have to melt your butter first. So after you get that mixed pretty good uh, let's see and you also have to add the sugar in the crust which is two tablespoons so you're going to add the two tablespoons of sugar and just continue mixing so that's mixed together real good so you want to mix the crust, crumbs, the sugar, and the butter. Guys, I tell you, I hope this turns out all right, since that I forgot to heat my butter beforehand. But it looks like it's coming along real good. Now that I got that all mixed up, going to put them in my individual cups. Now I'm just going to make four here because I'm going to put the rest in a small pie pan that 
I have. So let's get that mixed up real good. So now that I got a little bit of the crust mixture in each of the cupcake liners, you can put up, put in however much you want. If you want a thick crust or a thinner crust, and you want to put that in and pat it down real good. So it's in there just like that. This is no bake jello brand, so it's real easy, nice and simple. You gotta dump that in there. You're going to add one and a half cups of milk. into your mixture. Then you wanna stir your mixture to do this. When my whisk usually works just as good. And then once you, once it starts to get thick, then you're gonna pour it on your lining and your cupcake liner, and you're going to add your topping. That's gonna be your mixture. I hope you can see that. I'm probably not standing in the best spot in the kitchen. And if it doesn't seem like it's getting thick enough using a wire whisk, you can always uh, put it in the refrigerator for a little bit and let it thicken up. So I'm gonna keep beating that and then I'll start. And it is getting pretty thick, just that quick. I stepped away for a second and yes, that's how I like it. And then after I do that, I'm going to be adding the uh, strawberry fillings. Yes, that's pretty thick now. So then I'm just gonna take my spoon. Got my little cupcakes here. Yep, that's, that's getting there. When your spoon, when your thing can almost stand up. There it is. It was standing up there. Again, you're just gonna line up, put it in as much mix as you want. Since these are the miniature ones, I'm just gonna add a spoon full to each one before adding my toppings on. I want I think I added a little bit too much filling, but we will make it work. And then I usually just beat it on the counter to shake it all down. Perfect. And that's what it's looking like with the filling on top. Can you guys see that? Let me go this way. There you go. That's the cheesecake filling on top. And then I have my strawberry filling.
So again, this is part of the quarantine cooking at home with me being hosted by uh, the Sister Circle, uh, Kenya's Decor Corner, and this and that with Denise Jordan. They are the two ladies that came up with the idea, and it is a close collaboration to just uh, the members in the Sister Circle. And we are uploading videos every Wednesday. Let me fix that camera a little. Now watch, I'm gonna knock it over. We are uploading videos every Wednesday for the month of May. This is week number three. And then I'm just going to use my measuring spoon and scoop up some nice strawberries to put on top. Oh, I can taste that, I can't wait. That is going to be so good, delicious. One of the quickest cheesecakes I ever made. Now I like to sprinkle some of the graham cracker toppings on top of mine as well. So I'm going to do that also. Again, my hands are clean. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of the grand cracker topping. Not a lot, just a little bit. And that's it. Let me take you in closer to see the final. So guys, here's what it looks like all done. That was a quick and easy recipe, no bake, strawberry cheesecake from Jell-O. Jell-O brand, no bake strawberry cheesecakes. And again, I just love these little miniature tea cups that I put them in. They're really cupcake liners, but I thought if you can put cupcakes in it, you could put these in it as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll try the no-bake strawberry cheesecake or cherry cheesecake. And I just found out they also have an Oreo dish to make it the same way. And they look absolutely delicious and really cute in the little teacups. Don't that look delicious? I think I'm gonna eat this one tonight, the biggest one. <laughs> Yummy, I can't wait. So, hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for cooking in the kitchen with me, although this was not cooking, but uh, it's a cooking series, uh, completing a dish of your choice, food, desserts, whatever you choose to prepare. And please make sure you go over to Denise and Kenya's channel to check out the playlist of all the other participants from the Sister Circle. And I hope that you get inspired uh, for some quick and easy meals and desserts while we continue to go through this quarantine. And thank you guys for watching.